Greetings and welcome back carnivores to Carnivore Confidential. I'm Dougie the Butcher. Um, today I'm making Greek style heroes. Not gyros, not gyros. It's pronounced hero. Um, the G uh, Y is sort of like a <laughs> sound. Anyway, um, before I upset any traditional Greeks with my recipe or my take on it, uh, I'm just going to let you know right up front that I'm going to use uh, beef and lamb together, ground beef and ground lamb, and it's gonna be processed in a food processor. And I'm gonna pack it into a loaf pan and we're gonna bake it off. And then uh, we'll serve it up with some uh, tzatziki and uh, on a pita with uh, some tomatoes and onions. And uh, that's what's on the go for my dinner tonight. So come on upstairs and let's get started. Stay hungry, guys. All right, so let's get after this recipe. <clears throat> Pull this off the internet, incidentally, so it's not my own. It's just, I'm going to modify it a little bit, but I pulled it off the internet. Um, so what we've got here is we've got some uh, garlic, got some rosemary, dried rosemary, got some kosher salt, uh, black pepper, uh, marjoram, and a whole onion. And the whole onion we're gonna dice and get into our food processor. And then, according to the recipe, according to the recipe, I'm supposed to take it and put in a. Uh, it says it, it says use a tea towel, but I'm, I've got cheesecloth here, cheesecloth that I'm going to use, um, and you're supposed to. Uh, after this has been processed. You're supposed to um, squeeze the water out of it and then put it back in there. And then I've also got some lean ground beef and some lean ground lamb. Lamb. Ontario lamb. All right, so, <coughs> pardon me, here we go. Bear with the noise. <laughs> go for like 15 minutes, uh, sorry, 15 seconds or so, but I am going to push it back down so it gets all incorporated. And a nice fine dice. into a cheesecloth, squeeze the water out of it, and put it back into my food processor. Quite a bit of water actually. A little bit of juice. More than I thought. Alright. Back into the food processor. Discard the water, onion water. And then we're going to, according to this recipe, add the garlic, spices, and pepper to the onion and process. Do not juice one until it looks like a fine paste, about a minute. Place the mixture in a fine loaf pan and press evenly. Okay, wait a second here. Add the meat. The 
lamb in. And here comes the beef. Oh, incidentally, it's a pound of each. I forgot to mention a pound of each. Get this out of the way. Calls for two large cloves of garlic, so I'm going to say let's. I like garlic. Tablespoon of marjoram. Tablespoon of fried. Tablespoon of dried rosemary. Two teaspoons of kosher salt. Two teaspoons of kosher salt. And a half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now we're going to process this until it turns into a fine paste. So, see if we can't get that job done. Smells good. Okay, so you have to bake this off in a 325 degree oven uh, for about an hour. And I'm going to ram it in here because you really want it to be dense for slicing.
And it should look something like that when you're done. All right, um, I'm going to trim this. Alright, so that's what you get. You get a densely packed brick of, uh, of uh, processed beef and lamb mixture uh, with onions, marjoram, garlic, salt, pepper, and that's it. Alright, so as soon as my oven's up to temperature, I'm going to put it in a water bath, which I already have ready here, and uh, we're going to bake that off for uh, roughly an hour. All right, so come on back for that. All right, so it's in the oven. I clean up my mess, and uh, I'll come back to you when uh, it comes out. All right, welcome back. I have a tomato and a red onion, um, and of course my pitas. And uh, I'm about to take this out of the oven. My uh, timer just went off, so I'm about to take this out of the oven. So one second. Sure smells good. All right, I am going to bring you in for a close up. And that's what we're looking like. Fresh out of the oven. Uh, I'm going to cool it off, of course, and then uh, slice it and um, serve it with uh, some diced tomato, diced onion on a pita with some tzatziki. And uh, I will bring you back for that, for the taste test. Stay hungry, folks. All right, so welcome back. Got my, um, my brick of meat. Um, I've already sliced a couple of slices off it just to taste it, taste, just to give it a taste test. My glass is on so I can see what I'm doing. And you want to slice this really, really thin, folks. Like so. It's fairly dense, so the slices should stay together for the most part. You get a few slices. Then I've got a pan. We're going to warm them up in. Delish. I've also chopped some tomato, chopped some uh, red onion, and I've got some tzatziki. I didn't bother making tzatziki, it's just as easy to buy. I know nothing beats homemade, but um, the store bought stuff is pretty good. So, store-bought it is. Um, I've also got two pitas in a tea towel that I'm just going to pop into the microwave. i put that on top too. When those are ready to go, I'm going to fast forward here. Get some taste test going on. All right, so we just move this stuff out of the way. Get my plate ready to go. I think I'm going to go with 30 seconds on my pita. Warming these guys up. Smells good already. A few seconds on the pita. Good 
the tea towel trick works really, really well when you're warming up pitas. All right, tzatziki down. Can't have too much of that stuff. Tomatoes down. Onions. Red onions look pretty, and they also taste pretty good. And then we got our meat, our, our, our uh, heroes. There we go. All right, it's probably hotter than hell. And it is. But let's just uh, put this together for a bit of a bite. See if we can give you my opinion on it. Oh yeah. Traditionally, excuse me. Traditionally, this would call for a Greek pita, which is quite a bit thicker than these um, pitas that I'm using tonight, but that's all I could find in the store. That first bite was pretty much tzatziki, tomatoes, and onions, so let's get some meat in here. Delish. All right, folks. Forget my chewing. This is a wrap on, well, it's a wrap, all right. But it's a wrap on um, my video for Greek heroes. Um, please don't send me any hate mail if I got any Greek followers because I know it's not traditional it's just my take on it my recipe very very delicious give it a try for yourself very easy to do <clears throat> um, and that's a wrap for today so uh, next Thursday at 6 o'clock I'll have a new video for you uh, please like share and subscribe with uh, all your friends and family if you like the recipes and if you'd like anything you see please give me a thumbs up the likes, the shares, and the um, subscriptions, and the notification bell all helps with the YouTube algorithm to um, help them see that I'm putting out stuff that people want to watch. Um, anyway, come on back next Thursday, like I said, for a new video. And uh, in the meantime, stay hungry and Carnivore Confidential, out.